Last thing I would also advise shortly, then we take the announcement, then the closing ceremony, then we leave for this. But has this pastors and leaders conference helped somebody at all? Yes. They help somebody, yes. Yes. One of the things that uh, I want to say as a young people, as we are also growing this place, is our decision, which I would just shortly advise, I'm not going to really preach, is our decision to... Uh, enter into relationships and marriage it's uh if we are not able to manage our if we are not able to if you are not able to manage your sexual drive it has the capacity to destroy a lot of things that uh, we are doing as a church hallelujah because young people are full of energy and so we have to also look at it hallelujah we have to be careful in that dimension i'm not saying some of you are matured to start relationships some of you are not matured maturity is not the age the number it is a level of of the training of your character and also the level of the vision you have so we talk about spiritual maturity we talk about emotional or mind maturity then we talk about the physical preparedness in terms of materials and other stuff do you know that some people yes age is good but not age age is just the number okay thank you age is not the number we talk about your spiritual maturity amen hallelujah so we have to understand it the bible says that in proverbs 18 22 it said that who uh, anyone who finds a good wife or okay who whosoever finded a wife finding a good thing now finding means that there's a search searching means that there's some kind of attribute you are looking for this is also compared to the man it doesn't mean that any man that comes around you is a man but then some of you are not mature that's why you have to start growing yourself and stop this play because you are not mature to do this play it's not the age you are not mature the people that are mature will know them amen the people that are matured will know them because sometimes by the time you think you know some people are playing with something they are not matured for it and by the time somebody marries and give trouble character wise problem and it's like the person are just but the maturity is not there that's why sometimes a lot of times we have all this breaking of marriages it's not just because um, marriage was it's not because the people were wrong but just because the maturity does not do much up people when didn't get themselves to be trained for it when people too mature people are living life is beautiful are we together here so we have to come to a place where we begin to mature but one of the things that we have to understand is spirituality i told you the last time and it's true that jacob married in darkness and it he woke up in the morning realized that this is not what i was looking for but the reason why he didn't get what he was looking for because it was it was darkness ignorance he woke up with light and realized mm, Dale, this was a wrong choice I think I could have done a better one. <laughs> I could have. But it was because of ignorance. I felt that we as people that are mature should give you people tools. So that you would help navigate your way. And not play on this your emotions. But at least intelligently by the spirit. Make choices that will give you peace. And help you fulfill the will of God for your life. 
and especially the pastors i've been telling some of the pastors i was telling one of them i said if you make a choice from anywhere we don't know the person really i will not stop i will not accept this one you are, if there's a member i can't take much but if we're going to be a pastor i would insist don't go and bring anywhere and propose and finish everything say papa i have now seen somebody they say what you have now seen somebody when so oh two years you have just now seen somebody when he said two years <laughs> amen are we together listen listen in ministry or in life that area listen don't put any don't let anybody pressure you to marry don't let any agenda put you into marriage that is the only one decision that can affect you so much because you are going to stay with that thing it's like you are making a permanent decision so if you if you if you really help each other i know people grow people grow but at least take your time right now don't play with emotions the people that are matured will allow them let them do it because we'll help them marry hmm? because you have to mature spiritually and also emotionally in terms of the way and in terms of your character but right now some of you must start training yourself feed yourself with more knowledge prepare yourself more hmm? I'm not, listen, I'm not talking about this. You know, sometimes when we talk about, I say, are you a man to marry? So I now have a job. A job is not the, the only qualification to marry. It, it's not about giving just only the money to. Why do you want to? Do you know that some people, why do they want to marry? Say, hey, I've been washing my things. Uh, are you, uh, are they not washing machines? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, you know, some men, listen, it's true some men the reason why they want a wife is like they, they, they can't cook it's like somebody cook or or somebody they, they don't want to watch their things and are you looking for a cook or you are looking for a wife so some people are entering into marriage with need conscious need conscious and whenever that need is not met they will be depressed Because they feel like they have some need. They want somebody to supply. You yourself, can you meet your needs? And you want somebody to meet your needs? Are, are we here? See, see, see. Huh? So when you are bringing somebody, it's for vision and for purpose, not because of something. Life is progression, and there are certain qualities you want to play with life with. Are we together here? Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Uh, and your sexual partner now, but do 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 that one. So don't let that need also drive you. Will you have sex the whole year? Oh, you think you, are, you, you think you have sex the whole year? Hey. <laughs> so that shouldn't be your need at all. It shouldn't be the reason at all. Because some people are driving to make that choice because of just their sexual need. No. 
so that you improve upon life. There are things you want to look out and make a choice. So we bet me the way Are we here? Yeah. So those of you, those of you, some people, I'm coming to mention what I think the areas you have to be matured a little bit so that you can now decide to go in. Because then so when I tell you this, then we close. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Because, listen. Because, listen. Uh, no, you know, some people are just making choices because of. When we were crying, I was telling them the other time that, you know, at least you would have observed a little. That is why I don't believe in love at first sight anyway. No. If, if you fell in love for the first time, you would hide it a little. Because you wanted to observe a little to see whether what you have seen is correct or not correct. Any man that comes to you say, I saw you the first day. Oh my God. Sister, the first day I saw you, I, 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 I mean, my, my, my goodness. <laughs> Run away. Amen. 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 But actually, do you know that when Jesus do you know that when Jesus preached his sermon on marriage, after preaching the sermon on marriage, Peter woke up that if that is the issue between a man and his wife, then it is good that you don't marry. After preaching the message, Peter said, no, it's, then it is good. Hey! Peter just said, then it is good that you don't marry. Because after Jesus preaching, you know, Jesus preached a sermon on marriage. After preaching, Peter just said, I then it is good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Therefore, we have to have a little bit. All of us must be growing. I'm begging you. Before you begin to give trouble to somebody, we have to be growing. Amen. Because the good life you think you have programmed, if you are not very careful, something can come and fight that good life are we together so if your life is important you guide it and train yourself amen so i, I, I i'm just praying make yourself the best so that you will raise yourself the best so that you can give your best to somebody and somebody will appreciate it I say, oh, send your woman up for me, sir. Yem fao, sir. Oh, bien, so I said this one. Look at somebody, say, you need to grow. You need to grow. Therefore, all of us are born again. And as we are born again, as we are born again in our spirit, we know our spirit man had to grow in the things of the spirit. Now, growing spiritually had benefit on your human quality and your personal character. The fruit of the spirit is one of the greatest character to display. That if you are working with somebody that can fully bear the fruit of the spirit, you are working with a, a very matured and stable person. Amen. So, as you get born again, you want to grow mature in the things of the spirit. 
Growing in the things of the spirit is very important. I'm not talking about speaking in tongues. I'm not talking about somebody who prophesy. I'm not talking about who teaches the word. I'm not talking about a pastor. You know, somebody say, you know, sometimes when you say somebody is maturing in the spirit, we think somebody who is healing. Or the person who is teaching. Somebody may be as quiet as somebody in the church. But yet the person has a very meek and stable character. Of divine affluence. And divine resemblance. Now, let me say. I've worked with people. Let's say, okay, I, I come into the choir. Then maybe, it's not, I pick somebody in the choir. Then I begin to look at the person you could see that person in that place have unusual thing around them it's an aura now when i pick lemon i'm not saying maybe archery is maybe my short line i picked him like this i can tell you if a, a woman marries this man i can tell you some of the challenges you have now in terms with his personal ability in terms of certain area he's skillful at but when we talk about his reaction in terms of character his coolness in terms of character i know how he respond because i know the pressure and the things we are placed on him and i know how his heart so responds to the things of god other than that there are some it's, it's called spiritual virtue spiritual virtue so what you have to be growing in the spirit if the person does not desire spiritual things your desire for spiritual things is not growing look you are not maturing so we are maturing spiritually you have to look for that desire so now if you have not entered into a relationship or you want to enter just know that one of the areas you need to mature is spiritual. Look at your spiritual maturity. And look whether you are able to match up spiritually. What are spiritual things can we commit to your hands and you are able to do? What are the spiritual works are you... What, 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 what is your revelation, understanding, your spiritual capacity, even its influence on your character and attitude? When as of now, you can still be depressed. It means that somebody is not going to have the best part of you because a time will come you'll be depressed. A husband depressed or wife depressed in your house. Do you know what you are going to get? You're not going to get the best person, the best part of that person because that person is depressed around you. So if I'm, a star, I'm like that. I'm trying to help you. Are, are we together? So now we need to grow in that area. I'm a, I'm talking to somebody stop this, this, this i feel for you i feel for you start growing spiritually if we don't do that some of these things will be used to influence the things that we are doing for god hallelujah so grow spiritually then that i'm just closing like that as you make your spiritual growth you are also going to grow emotionally that is your soul amen so because your spiritual growth will affect the way you have your character. You will not get angry all of a sudden. You will not be like this all of a sudden. You know, do you know certain men? I mean, you want to beat a lady or what? When I, when I see that, then I feel like, hey. What, what? Oh, it's not fire at all. Amen. And I know that no man in here will be beating a lady. <laughs> Amen. And, and there are some ladies that also beat men. <laughs> it's true. Yes, true. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, there was a certain man in our area, he's true. The wife is very strong. So one day, they were in the, the area in the vicinity. They heard some noise. And, and the, the man was shouting. Mama mekuno. Mr. Mama mekuno. Mama mekuno. No, 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 we say. Oh, who? No. One Hey, this is macho woman. Amen. Spiritual maturity has a way of affecting your character so that you can present a stable character. Isn't it beautiful when you are <clears throat> you walking with somebody and the person has a stable character? It's a spiritual thing. Very spiritual. Amen. That is why don't mistake him. I'm not talking about somebody who prophesies and so somebody prophesies that he's spiritual. I'm not talking about that. Or somebody can heal the sick say he's spiritual. No, many people mistaking that. So you want to marry, say, I want a very prayerful or justice woman. Pashiakata. No. We say, who is your husband? Say, I saw the guy prophesying. You have missed it. It's not spirituality. Spiritual is different. It's a stable, a competent flow of the spirit that affects the person's attitude and character. Are we together here? So start growing spiritually. Then you start growing emotionally or in your soul. Now in your soul is when you begin to grow in terms of your knowledge. Do you know that? You know, in growing in terms of your knowledge, it means that your mind is opening up. When you grow in knowledge, it helps even in your vocabulary and communication. Amen. It helps in your vocabulary and your communication. Amen. When your mind begins to grow, it expands your scope of life because from there you are going to build a life from that understanding that you have now listen to me that is why i'll come to i'll come in this level i'll come to this marriage is purely for purpose i would give you a help meet a companion and that purpose will span across in crashing every area of your life now the woman too can have a purpose and the woman has a purpose now listen to me ladies let nobody reduce any lady to anything here don't let your relevance be because of who you are going to marry build your mind and build your competency one of the signs that the lady is matured is when it's also independent and the man is also independent when a guy keep on referring to the uncle, the mother, that their sister, just know that that guy is a boy. He's not a man. What will you do? He said, my, my dad said, I'll go to China. My, ah, just look at that guy. He's a, he's, a, he's a boy. He's not a man to marry yet. That guy is not detached. You want to propose and you are saying your uncle. He said, my uncle is in Germany. He said he will come and bring me to Germany. And what do you want to do? You are certainly talking about your uncle will bring you to Germany. If that man has nothing but he has God and he has a vision, something he feels like he has been called to do, you know what you are coming to help him. But you don't know what you are doing now. Now you say, my offer, my uncle, my... 
That guy is a boy. He's not matured for anything. As long as you are dependent on somebody, you are not matured. Because you cannot be dependent on somebody and somebody will now come and depend on you. Huh? You, your mother, have to cook before you feed. You are now proposing to somebody. <laughs> and you are making big, big promises. And the lady too can see that it's your father who cooked before you. <laughs> Amen. If that person is independent, you could see that that person is independent. Are we together? When your mind begins to explode, from there you can see to life and contribute effectively to fishing and purpose. Amen. And that's why when somebody's mind is open, it's like you are the pastor. If you're a, a pastor and somebody's going to be companion, it means that the person might have more vocabulary in what you do. And so if the person doesn't have more vocabulary, how are you going to communicate in what you do? So the person is your companion. But you don't have so many things to talk. you don't have so many things to talk as a pastor because your communication should be improving you that's why even the more you grow you grow in knowledge you must have not you must be versatile versatile means that knowledge across all board you must be don't live in the world you said to me i don't care about anything you don't care keep on living say i don't care about anything you don't care about anything you must care At least once a while, you must master in the area of your influence and know that your vocabulary in that area must be strong. When you come to the Bible and come to spiritual things, so you list all the men of God across the globe. At least you have major ones that are upwards. At least I know something about them. Researching about them, who they are. So you want to work with the pastor, at least you must know all these people. Know all with this, which, man, which church is growing. Research a little bit. You must be versatile. So at least you can also talk. You must know something. You must know, some, you must know something about at least a little. Somebody might be interested in maybe trade and business. You don't know anything about business. Say, so me, I'm a pastor. You know, businesses are not part of it. We can't discuss these things. You must be versatile because your knowledge is broad. Your knowledge is broad. You are knowledgeable. When we say, oh, Barcelona, I say, ah, which kind of donkey is that one? <laughs> say, me, I don't like it at all. Knowledgeable makes people versatile versatile because as a pastor i must know a little bit medicine small small though i'm not a doctor i won't compete with the doctors and i lie <laughs> well it's a little bit of my flow one or two terminologies and maybe i'll miss one i'll be corrected anyway <laughs> amen but at least i must have a little bit of knowledge in that area is that not so the area you need to mature is mature in knowledge. So that when somebody comes around you, you can contribute to purpose. So this is time to read. You want to even marry. You are not knowledgeable about marriage. You don't know why God ordained marriage. You don't know the roles and responsibilities of a wife and a husband. You want to apply for a job, you don't know the role. What kind of application is that one? You want to start a family, you don't know how to raise a child. Put your hand on your head. Said, I'm growing in Jesus' name. So don't rush. Let's not start doing 
girlfriend, boyfriend, as a fashion or motions and feeling expression, you are not looking for a sexual partner. You are not looking for anything. You are looking for life partner. For life. So listen, those of, those of you that are married, at least you, you have done your best. Like all of us, we that are married people. Those of you that are coming, we felt like we have to punch more. We have to talk to you guys. We just are not a place we should start all kinds of relationship things. The people that are matured, we help them. We cancel them, talk to them, then help them to marry. Then let's go. When you get to a place you feel like you can do it, talk. We help you marry. This, is, this, is, this church is one of the easiest places to marry. Because you don't need machines. You don't need chairs. If you will not feed the people, that's no problem. You give it to us. We have so below expert and cheap empire makers experts. So forget about it. You have a pastor. That's already none. All that you need is your family members. Your ring. And your dress. And as for the dress, we have fashion designers in the church. Yes, yes. Uh, all the wedding we have done all the wedding we have done the gun that we we sew in the church the fashion designers sew i think they are the best the, 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 oh yes yes yeah, their style is so amazing yes they are very good you are yes and we have cameras and we have photographers you need to you don't need to hire a camera You don't, you don't need a bride. Uh, uh, you don't need maid. You don't need usher. You don't need anything. All that is to dress yourself. And just give the dates. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. That is why I don't want anybody to hide doing something. If you feel like you are matured, you want to go come forward at that dimension where you are we will talk with you no listen no pastor me prophet nobody anybody there's nobody who is against anything here we just want to see it is right and help you with our wisdom but don't play and try with things 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 experiment with things and cr crash and you know so and break and crash if you want to, if you feel like, I said, I'm dropping at levels of maturity now. So I want to give you your spiritual maturity. That's what you're going to do. You're going to do with your knowledge level. Cutting across, please. You do that. Everybody must feed on that. When you begin to mature, you see it in your spiritual. Then you see it in the level of the knowledge that you have. And that is when you are ready because by the time you are going to meet somebody, are you willing to look into the face of the people and your character is so developed that you'll be telling the truth and not a lie. You look at somebody, you tell the person the truth. It's a character. Or you want to deceive yourself and deceive somebody. You know, some people there, they meet them, they are here, they, they will not tell the truth and they will not tell them. So, do you want to deceive yourself and deceive somebody? Hmm? Have you developed your loyalty? Amen. As a, past, as a man, they say you are the head. Do you know the function of the head? What kind of head will you put on your head? A crow crow head. No, sir. What head is this one? If you are choosing a head, at least the head should be something that is hard. Amen. So do you think uh, with this your head you want a lady to put on? <laughs> do you trust yourself? Do you trust yourself? Or you want somebody put, to put this head on him, on her? Do you trust your head? 
Are we together? Are we here? So young people, we have to make, listen, we have to make life beautiful. Amen? We have to make life beautiful. And we can make life beautiful. I'm telling you, life is not supposed to be stress. I'm tall. I'm telling you. This area of marriage were made for enjoyment and for improvement in lives of each other. It was not made for the tearing down of society and the destruction of people. But the preparation that we have to prepare, we escape preparation and then we want the results. Amen. So let's begin to read. Let's begin to study. Read more. You want to be a wife? Gather all the books of successful wives. How did they behave? Who are they? Is that not so? You are the man you are going to instruct. What is your knowledge base? Your understanding and wisdom to speak, to correct. Do you want to be a teacher? It is a leader, a head, wisdom. What is your understanding level? It's not about the emotions we display. It's about the competence of the knowledge that we have. Are we together here? Everybody leave here and go and prepare. If you are ready, you think you want to enter. Don't enter with needs. If you enter into marriage with needs and expectation, you'll be depressed. You'll be depressed. You know, some people have that need that when I marry, uh, that need is what is going to cause your depression. Amen? That is the beginning of the depression. Amen? This one is needless association. <laughs> Amen. Yes. So when you are going, you want somebody for destiny and for purpose. And from there you build it. And when you start somebody with a relationship, you start from the spirit. You know the person is spiritually matured, progressing spiritually, moving in the spiritual dimension. Because that is real life. Life is spiritual. And the place that will help you make spiritual progress is the best decision ever to make. Any decision that is making, it should be geared towards spiritual, not because of anything. Then the next thing after the spirit is when purpose is in place. Because they have to be a vision that the people are running. I'm not looking about just a job, a vision of what your person is becoming so that they can be progress. That vision will help you all build knowledge in that area. What is a vision? Is purpose. I'm married for tomorrow, for destiny. Are we together? So that we are building for purpose and progress of life. Advancement of life. So I'm making that decision because of where you are going and who has the capacity, who has that influence with the vision where you are building. It's not just emotion. It's not a matter of just my heart. No. 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 Sometimes that thing can even disappear. Sometimes that emotion can disappear. When it disappears, what will keep you is a vision. Do you know that vision can keep people more than any other thing? Yes. Vision can keep people more than any other thing. One time I was listening to this man. I bet and I bet, Okra. How you have been listening to them? Yeah. These are one of the successful entrepreneurs. They are doing well. And they will speak. Uh, uh, the, uh, was it? Uh, I think it was Abet, yes. And he was saying something. He said that he, he and the wife, it's not like they don't. He said sometimes they have argument because sometimes he said some people want to ask why they are so like friends and they are moving about everywhere they go like friends. He said, not like they don't have issues. He said, they, they get issues. He said, by them. 
sometimes some of their issues they can go and laugh about it and laugh and that's how their friends they said they can go they can all see their problem if i have challenge over something they can, said they can all go sometimes they can be laughing about those challenges there it's like he said they have been bonded for a vision and that vision has wired the friendship that's what they do it's a vision it's a purpose and none so we have to build our knowledge build our spirit build the quantity of your character and every lady here build your confidence build yes build your confidence know that you are capable to do something amen so that your confidence will not come from somewhere build your confidence Build your competence. And competence is breed of knowledge. Build it. Build your confidence. Are we here? Build it. Build your confidence. You know, that's what I'm saying. Please, build your confidence so that you can be totally complete so that you can offer your best. What you enter into somebody's life, you came to give your best. But if your best is not complete, it will not provide because we expect you are mature that's why you are making that decision so if you know you are not mature then know that you are not so you want to wait before you make that decision but if you are making that decision we expect you are mature to offer your best to somebody to have improved that person as a man you are going to offer your best to somebody that that woman is going to offer the best the best of their content which they have developed i want to help somebody enjoy it my counsel, my wisdom, my knowledge, my ideas, my visions. Like that is why I'm going to help somebody with it. So that person can improve. Likewise, this person is going to help. We call it help meet supply. What you have, you are going to give. What this person has is going to keep. And then life begins to improve. Are we together? So live here with that understanding. That any life you get to, we are going to make it better. And position yourself spiritually. That you are going to be able to give somebody peace. That a certain a woman will not marry you and then will not will not have that peace. You are going to give that peace. You are going to give that man peace, that woman peace. Just give because you are the man of love, a man that I've developed, a woman that I've matured, a woman that I've developed. So live here and go and work on maturity projects. Just leave here and said, I'm going to mature. It's a maturity project. Mature in my knowledge. I'm going to scan for books, read knowledge, read books, mature, so that I will be able to give the best of me to somebody. Are we together? Are we together? And when you are matured and you want to then enter into that level, come, then we help you marry. We will do that gladly. We, we, we want everybody to marry. Except those who are called into this office of not marrying. Yes. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. Listen, no, unless I won't pray, there are some people that is their calling. I spoke with somebody about the person said. So he was asking, said, Papa, so what came over you before you married? I said, I was trying to explain. He said, I, I don't know. But it's like me, nothing, nothing comes on me to want to marry or it's like I say maybe nothing has to come to you. <laughs> what a grace. What a grace that nothing comes. Shadaba Daba. Amen. When naturally you want to marry, please don't marry. Uh, don't if you are married, don't marry thoroughly somebody we don't know. I'm not saying the the person cannot be good, but what about if the person is not good? We want somebody like sometimes when we talk to, we can easily be heard. So me, I prefer. No, nobody should sit in this church and say that. And say that they are not maritable materials here. Nobody should ever make that statement. Don't ever think. Somebody comes here and says, oh, maybe. 
they are not men. Go to two, they are not men here. Is their level? Let's start counting the men in the church. And when we stand right now, realize that we are men in the church. Don't underrate where they are. For the purposes, we came here for the purpose and the work of God. The people are maturing. So let us leave them to mature. Let them mature. Let them grow and mature. Amen. Don't feel pressured by age. Don't feel pressured by anybody. Don't feel pressured by the society. Don't feel intimidated by parents. It is your responsibility. Marriage is your personal responsibility. But you must be knowledgeable to make that personal choice of who you desire to marry. Let me say this. When Abraham wanted to pick a wife for Isaac, he made his servants swear. He said, make sure you don't take wife among these people for my husband, for my son. Go to my father's house and pick a wife. Because the places that are home have a way of nurturing the people. Listen, I've been to a lot of places seeing spiritual people, but sometimes I felt like not many have been molded because maybe they are not having a home to be raised. So make sure you are making somebody that you are making choices that we know that influences and especially somebody you know that is submitting to somebody so they can be easily accountable to. Hallelujah. So that those choices can be guided to help. Hallelujah. So me, I'll be happy to see church marriage taking place in this church. I'll be happy to see them here. But that which will destroy your spiritual life, that is why we want to help about it. Now give yourself to process and growth give yourself when you feel like you are matured and we will see your maturity your knowledge and also in terms of your independence we talk about independence your mental independence and your financial independence every independence will see that you are really independent mean that you are really single you know some people they are not really single they are they are not single they are attached yeah some people are so attached to something they are not single and so you want to make that step you must not be attached you must be single attached to whatever somebody must whatever anything that you attach to you must break away from it uh -huh. that means you are independent and single that's when you are ready amen there shouldn't be any attachment hallelujah so when we get to that place when you know that you are totally totally single and you are independent you come to us and you show us the person you want to work with we know that that person is totally also ready we will just officiate it and bless it life is beautiful let us make it beautiful but they have to be effort they have to be work on making life beautiful it doesn't just happen anytime something is happening it not just happen it happened because it has been worked on nothing just work somebody has to make it work and you have to make that thing work. Church, I think this is the number two I want to say. God bless you. Amen.